in the last video, we messaged him about this computer. Now, let's say we've been scrolling through, scrolling through, but we're not finding anything we like. I like to start off by not using the search, not typing anything in the search, just because you're getting the latest posts on Craigslist. You can get like the top picks before anybody else does. But if you're searching through this and not finding anything, you can use the search and search for items like we were talking about. I7 would be a good search. Let's see what comes up for I7. Okay, all the I7s. This isn't a great one because this is a first generation I7, so we don't want that one. This one, I'm not sure. Here's a Lenovo I7. Really, he's not giving us too much information there, and we can't really tell from the picture exactly what this is. We could save this image to our computer and then zoom in on it and see if we could see that model number in the right here. I can't quite make out what kind of computer that is, so we're going to forget that one. But that is something I use to you know, try to find more information about the computer if it's not posted. Okay, so we're still in, under the i7 search here. Here is a gaming laptop, 850, a little too expensive. Let's scroll through. Here's a Dell XPS i7 for 450. If you get that them, to, them down to 350 on a, on a Dell XPS i7, and I can tell from the sticker it's at least a sixth generation because it's got that bright Intel sticker. But let's see what it is. It's a seventh generation i7, 7700. It's a pretty powerful processor. Uh, it's got Octane. It should be Optane, not Octane. Um, SSD. It has a one terabyte. Doesn't look like it has a separate video card, but... It's in like new condition with the box and everything. This is not a bad deal. Might be something worth looking at. So that's just an example of using the search and finding computers that way. Let's see if there's anything else. Here's a Alienware. It doesn't look terribly new. Yeah, that's a second generation i7. Here's a sixth generation with a pretty powerful graphics card, 600 bucks, a little high. A Dell 4K i7 15-inch gaming laptop. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is one of the new Inspiron laptops. It does sell for $1,199 on, at Best Buy. It's a little expensive, though, at that price. $800 is probably what it should be selling for in the stores, to be honest. So it does not have a great graphics card this should not even be called a gaming machine i just wanted to check that out but that's not something we want to go for anyway you can scroll through and see if there are any deals now if you can't find any deals with that maybe you could do i5 you can find some decent i5s i5s are still a strong processor scroll through that see if you find anything good you can even do now, if you have this course, you have also my master guide to buying and selling, and I put a whole list of search terms in there. You could search by graphics card, like RTX is the latest NVIDIA graphics cards. Let's do RTX. We're probably going to get a lot of pretty kick-ass machines. Okay, here's a Razer, 15-inch, very strong machine, but we don't have too much besides that. A lot of uh, desktops. The, but GTX is also last generation of graphics cards. So we might find a lot of GTX stuff. That's something you could look for. You could also search for actual models that you know are pretty kick-ass, like the HP ZBook is their highest-end machine. And we don't, we, it's pretty rare to find tons of them on tons of those because they're pretty rare, but I've, I've made hundreds of dollars with ZBooks, and Dell Precisions are pretty sweet too. That's their highest end enterprise level design machines. They're really cool. Let's see if Dell Precision gives us anything. Okay, that one I actually posted. You're gonna see us do it later in the course. So let's not count that one. This is a little older. 
And here's one, a 7520. which is a very kick-ass machine. It's pretty expensive, but let's just see what kind of graphics card it has. A Quadro M2200. Let's just do this. Quadro M2200 Precision 7520. Let's go to eBay and check it out. Because these Quadros are expensive graphics chips. They're like... The cream of the crop RTXs and GTXs from NVIDIA, the Quadros are. And this one's selling for eight. This one's selling for three. Okay, so not worth a thousand. I mean, we don't know all the specs of that machine. Oh, it's got the it's got the Xeon processor. So that has something going for it too. Let's just add that. Okay, that bumps things up a bit. But again, we're not looking at these. We only want sold items. Okay, 1100, 675. Okay, we're not going to make money on that one. But it is something worth searching for. Especially if you find a Quadro like 5000. I found one at a pawn shop the other day. It was a Z Book 17 inch with a Quadro P5000. And I probably made about $600 profit, profit on that machine. So the quadros are like little hidden gems. That's a little secret tip. Look for the 5,000s though. If you get one with a 5,000, people usually don't know what they have on their hands. I know the pawn shop didn't. And I bought it for a good price and I crushed and I sold a lot for a lot of money. So that's something to look at too. All right, that's it for enough for Craigslist for now. You get the idea of what we're searching for here. We're searching for decent computers sell, that are sold unreasonably cheap that we can sell for a profit.